Hey, how's it going? Andy here, and I'm going to be talking about this new YouTube ad policy change, how it affects me, my channel, and just my thoughts about it. So the other day, I got an email from YouTube, and it was like, we are changing the policy to become a YouTube partner, and you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 total watch hours in the last 12 months, which is um, not, you need 4,000 hours of upload time, but your content has to be watched 4,000 hours, which is like 240,000 minutes. And I'm close, um, close relatively. I need like about 1,500 more hours, which sounds like a lot because it is a lot. So, uh, that's kind of a bummer. So I was like, what the hell is this? Now, I didn't want to make a video right away because I would have just been speaking too emotionally and I really wanted to hear what other YouTubers were saying. And well, here are my thoughts. Now, I started making YouTube videos back in 2010, believe it or not. That's when I started my channel. I uploaded like two videos, didn't like them. And then in 2011, I rebooted my channel, um, use that term very, very, very loosely. And I just was never consistent. And then, like I said, this year, well, 2017 in about March is when I really started taking it seriously. Like, I was uploading four to five times a week. My channel grew from 500 to over 1,000 subscribers within, like, six months, which was awesome. And I got my first YouTube check, so that was cool. But now, with this policy change, I'm no longer a partner. So with that being said, I won't be able to monetize my channel, which kind of sucks because it's nice seeing that I'm able to earn a little bit, even if it's like 50 cents for a video, that it's just me talking. That costs nothing. It's nice to see that little incentive there, and now I'm not able to do that, and it kind of sucks. Now, I'm not saying I make a trillion billion dollars off of YouTube. I don't. Like I said, I've made one paycheck. But it was nice, because that paycheck I was able to use to actually buy this GoPro to try to do different things with my channel. So it definitely, it's there. It's definitely nice to have the option to make money on videos. What they should have done was grandfathered people in that had their channels and was posting content from like a certain date, well, New, Year's, New Year's of last year. So if you started your channel January 1st, 2017, and before that, then you're grandfathered in, which they didn't do that, and that's very, very annoying. It's just the fact that I have to reapply now after I was already accepted and I've made a little bit of money off my channel. It just sucks. It, it really does. And I'll leave the links down to all the articles and everything down below and, like, the videos I'm going to talk about. But I was watching Philip DeFranco and Boogie... And I think that's it. I think there's those are the only two videos I watched from a more professional, like bigger YouTubers, just giving advice to smaller channels. Now, to paraphrase, they were basically saying you can't rely on YouTube to make a living. You have to outsource, like you got to get like sponsors, start a Patreon, sell merch, and stuff like that. Which I totally, I totally get because with the last couple issues I've had with YouTube monetization. I started the Patreon, got a couple supporters, which you guys rock, BT dubs. It, it's just annoying that I have to go through this whole process again. But at the same time, it's it, it's stressful, but at the same time, it's not. Because now, I kind of don't have to worry about whether my videos can be demonetized or not. Because it's not going to be monetized whatsoever. So I don't have to worry about certain tags or cussing in my videos, which I really don't cuss that much anymore in my videos. So that's actually kind of nice. It's like, it's, like I said, it's stressful, but at the same time, it's not. Honestly, this isn't going to make me want to quit. This makes me want to work even harder just to reach that goal to become a partner again. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to have some like merch out if you guys want to help support me. Um, like I'm going to have some stickers some shirts I'm working on designs right now. Um, so once that happens, I'll let you guys know in a video. Also, if you guys want to help support me, you can support me on Patreon for little 
as one dollar a month, almost in a day, a dollar a month. So the link to that will be down below. Yeah, it's a it's a shitty situation, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, people are like, can't you appeal it? Can't appeal it. It's the YouTube policy change. People said they want to go, they want YouTube to go back to how it was, and well, it's going back to how it was, where you have to be at a certain requirement to be eligible to even be considered to becoming a YouTube partner, and well, that's what we're getting. So. It sucks, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to stay positive about it. It's going to work out in the end for me. That's all I know. I love making videos. I'm not going to stop. Um, like I said, this is just going to make me want to work harder. So, But I really want to know what you guys think about this YouTube policy change. Does it affect you and your channel? Does it affect some of your friends that make YouTube videos? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.